Jay here. I'm going to give you a tour of the Mobius platform using the Mobius beta app. So some of the functionality you see may or may not be in corporate by the time you actually start using the app yourself. But this gives you a pretty good idea of what's coming. The tank I'm going to be using to demonstrate is my office tank. It's a Waterbox 130.4 and it's running various pieces of Ecotech and aqua illumination equipment, which are Mobius compatible, at least with the beta. So what I have is an MP40. I have some Nero pumps in the back. It's lit by four XR15 Pros, Gen 4s. And then underneath in the sump area, I have four Versas running my dosing. And then I have a single Versa, which is running my auto top off. In the back, I have two vectors. One is feeding the Clarity Roller and the other one is the return for my main tank. So what is Mobius? Mobius is the control platform under which all of this equipment is operating and communicating with each other. When we talk about Mobius, what you're going to be most familiar with is the application, which is the user interface, which controls all of it. When we open it up, once we've set up a tank, gone through any setup wizards, etc., the first thing we're going to be presented with is our dashboard. Now, there's some key elements on the dashboard but we'll dive into the scenes, which is the first thing you see later. First, we're gonna take a look at the equipment. All right, so let's get into lighting. On your home screen, down at the bottom, what you're gonna see is a number of icons. The one on the furthest left is going to be your home icon. That's why it looks like a house. The second one, if you have dosing pumps, such as the Versus set up, that's where you're gonna see a little icon that looks like the rotor on a Versa pump. Next to that is a sun, which I think is fairly self-explanatory as the lighting. To the right of that is little wavy lines. That's your flow. That's where your pumps are located, circulation and return. And then all to the right is your settings. If you click on the settings button, one of the cool features in here is the devices tab. That shows all of the devices which are currently connected to your account. It also shows whether there's updates and allows you to do other things like rename them. Okay, going back to the home screen. Once we're back on the home screen, now we're gonna go to lighting. So we're gonna click on that little sun, and when we click on that, what we're presented with is a dashboard specific to lighting. Right here, you can see if you have any of the toggle functions enabled, like lunar or acclimation up at the top. You can click on those to change those. Under that, you have an overview of your daily schedule. You can see it runs 24 hours, 12 a.m. to 24 p.m. It has a little orange marker which shows where you are in your day schedule. The sun indicates where your schedule starts for the day, and then the moon is obviously night. Click on Edit, and you're presented with a view of your program. Now, for those of you who are familiar with our other apps, by tapping on a control point, you are presented with your sliders where you can adjust intensity and other things. Go back, you can select another control point, etc. While you're in that control point, you can adjust the lights and the colors will change accordingly. Once you're done with that, you can save. Also, there's an option to export. If you back out using the lighting tab, you will be presented again with the dashboard indicating your lighting schedule. Now, from here, you can either back out again, which will take you back to the menu, or you can immediately skip to another equipment area. So in this case, we are going to go to Flow. Now, Flow is presented slightly differently. In the Circulation home screen, you can see all of the pumps which are currently connected to your system, either as return pumps or as circulation pumps. So you can see all the pumps here. You can also see at a glance what schedule they're running and also what percentage that they're currently running at and at what mode. Now, if we want to change one of those or adjust the programming, we simply click on it. In the case of this vector, it's not calibrated. It's actually suggesting that I do calibrate it. But as you can see, here is the program. The program shows that this is running in constant mode. Again, there's that orange marker which shows you where in the schedule you are. It is running at 100% in constant speed mode. If I wanted to put feed mode in there or some other period, I can adjust that accordingly. I can obviously have different output levels at different times through the course of the day. We go to a pump that has slightly more complex functionality, like an MP40. There you can see your schedule over the course of the day. And then when you click on edit, 
again, you're provided with this menu system. Here we have a lot of options, all of the different modes that a Vortec is capable of. To add one to your 24-hour schedule, simply drag it across. It's that easy. In each individual one, you have the options specific to that mode. For instance, in pulse mode, you can adjust the max speed and the time between pulses. Okay, so that is circulation and return pumps. So now we'll get to the last thing, which is the Versa, which is our dosing and auto top-off. Now there we're gonna click on the icon again. Now we have our uh, dashboard for dosing. And as you can see, this tank's currently set up and what we have is fresh water and then we have our three salts and one pump, which I have yet to actually connect to anything. Now, if we look in the cabinet, we can see the verses are all connected here. We have the salt reservoir over here with my calcium alkalinity and magnesium in it, which are these three pumps right here. And then over here, we have my freshwater auto top off. Now to run it as an auto top off because there's no input devices for Mobius yet, it's actually connected to this hydrofill and the pump is set in constant mode. So we're gonna click on that one. Looking at our dosing dashboard, there's four pumps which are currently programmed, including the fresh water, the magnesium, alkalinity, and calcium. Calcium is currently set with no program. Now, one of the things you'll notice is that the fresh water pump is not powered on, and that's because it is set up to run in constant mode. Constant mode allows you to set a dosing volume, and then when the pump is powered on, it will run that volume continuously. Because it's for an ATO, I have it connected to a float switch. Unfortunately, because it's not powered on right now, I can't connect to that pump, but it is programmed, so when it's powered on, it will run. Over here, I have my salt pumps, so magnesium, alkalinity, calcium. If I click on calcium, which is not programmed, I can see there it is. I've set this before as calcium. There's my additive. Going back to the schedule, it's in manual, which means that I can program this as I see fit. And for that reason, I'm gonna simply start um, calcium dosing and run it from eight to 4 p.m. And I'm gonna set a dosage of 30 ml. I'm gonna enable the catch up feature, which means that if for some reason the pump is powered off, within a 24 hour period, it will make up that dosing volume. And then I'm simply gonna click save. As you can see up here at the top, there is also auto and constant. Constant we just talked about. Auto in dosing will actually set the times for you. So you simply set the volumes of your salts and then it will dose at the times most optimum for those particular uh, additives. Okay, so clicking save. Now we go back and the pump is programmed. We go back and you can see now calcium is programmed for 30 ml daily dosage. That quick, that simple. Adding a piece of equipment is equally simple. If we were to add another dosing pump, you would simply tap that plus button at the top. You can see in here all of the equipment that's currently in the office that's either assigned to other systems or that is available. Obviously there's a lot of it, everything that's within range within this building and then everything that's within range of that is getting picked up and transferred here. If we wanted to identify one of these pieces of equipment that was not currently calibrated, we would simply press and hold and then we're given the option to identify it. When we click on identify, then the driver for that particular device is gonna flash and then you know that's the one you wanna add. To add it, you simply make sure you have a purple check mark there. You can add it or remove it simply by tapping on that. And then you would click next and it will add it to your tank profile. One of the other features which is related to this is security. Now obviously because this is Bluetooth, as you saw, there is the ability to see every piece of equipment, whether it's in your profile or it's not in your profile. But that would potentially allow someone else to come and connect to it. Now you can prevent that from happening simply by setting a passcode for your tank. Now what that will mean is that nobody can take that piece of equipment and add it to their profile without knowing what your passcode is. So to do that, you go to settings and there is 
the ability to set your passcode. Your passcode by default is 000, which is the same for everybody, four zeros. But once you've set it to something unique for your tank, then somebody will have to have that passcode to be able to change your settings. While we are back here in the settings, you'll also see that there's the ability to name your system. You can have multiple tanks. When you open the app and you're at the dashboard on the home screen, you have the ability to switch tanks simply by tapping on your tank name and then any tanks which you have will show up there. So you can have an unlimited number of tanks and you can have many um, devices attached to each. I believe in the case of dosing pumps, I think it's in the region of 200, 200 plus that you can actually have added at once. Now, last but not least, and perhaps the coolest feature or functionality in Mobius is scenes and then later that will be augmented with programs or routines. Now scenes are these icons which you see when you open up the dashboard. So this was the first thing we saw and now it's the last thing we're going to touch on. Scenes are different user activated functions that you can create for your tank. Now there are some default in Mobius but by clicking on edit you can potentially add others if you want to. You can also drill into each of these and change the settings. We go into edit and we go into photo mode. We can see there's the name, there's the icon as appears. We can set the duration of this. And then here's all the equipment on my tank and I can specify what that equipment does and for how long for each thing. When you're done, you simply exit out of it and then the scene will appear here on your dashboard. So if you wanted to have a movie mode or you want to have photo mode or you want to create a um, feed mode where everything is, uh, is working together, that is something you can do and create right here. Down the road when there's input devices, those input devices will allow you to trigger these same sorts of programs but have it all happen autonomously. So that's not in Mobius right now but that is something that Mobius has been designed for and the intention is that we will have that in the not too distant future. In the meantime, you have all of this equipment control and then you have scenes where you can tie it all together into user interactive buttons. All of the equipment is smart, so once you program it, that's it. It's gonna run the program until you log in again, change the program and save it. Okay, that concludes our tour. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you learned something. I hope you got a sneak peek of some of the equipment which is going to be included in the near future into Mobius and then also maybe got some ideas of what you can do with your Ecotech equipment on your own tank.